let's talk a little bit about uh, creating shared value. And the broader question of what should be the role of corporations in economic and, and social development. Uh, this question now has reached the level of urgency for business. We are right now at a time where, where there are many, many challenges facing the world. And what has been so striking to me is how the awareness of these challenges has grown to a level that I have never experienced before. Business has often been seen as part of the problem in uh, these challenges. Um, and indeed, the legitimacy of business today is the lowest that I have ever experienced in my professional career. What we're doing now isn't working. We haven't solved the problems of society, and it hasn't benefited us as businesses. If you look really, really hard at impact and ask ourselves, you know, how many corporate CSR programs, initiatives actually really move the needle in a way that's really noticeable and measurable, you know, in the community or in any particular dimension of, of social impact, uh, we have very few examples where that could be kind of confidently asserted. I think fundamentally the problem is that still the vast majority of activity in this area is actually seen as separate from the business. I firmly believe that now we have to now raise the bar. What we're talking about here is a way of reconceiving how we do business to actually create a positive benefit for society at the same time as we're creating economic value. So what's the notion of creating shared value? Corporate policies and practices that enhance the competitiveness of the company while simultaneously advancing economic and social conditions in the communities in which the company operates. If we take the notion of CSR, and if we take this notion of creating shared value, which we'll abbreviate as CSV, how do we kind of compare and contrast the two? CSR is an area where agendas are often heavily externally determined. There, there's a variety of pressure points on the business, on the firm, and uh, we have to respond to those pressure points. CSV is something that has to be company specific. Because if you're going to create shared value, there has to be the shared part, therefore there has to be the connection to you. And, and therefore, this is an area that requires intense and deep understanding of the business, of the value chain, of the product, of the customers uh, that you can or do serve. Uh, CSR is kind of separate from profit maximization. CSV is integral to profit maximization. In CSR, the impact you can have is limited to your CSR budget. CSV is about mobilizing the entire budget of the corporation to impact social issues. I don't mean to make this an either or. We're going to have to do a combination of both. But what I'm saying is that it's time and we must, we must start to increase the energy, the focus, and the dedication within our companies uh, on the CSV side. That, I believe, is the only way to restore the legitimacy of the corporation. Shared value at, at this moment in history, I believe, can be created at four different levels within the firm. The first is in actually redefining operating practices and activities within the value chain itself. Second level is actually reconceiving our products and value propositions that our company is actually offering. And I think we're getting a growing understanding that a, a lot of products meet social needs as well as economic needs. Uh, the third level is building clusters in the communities in which we're operating. A cluster is a set of supporting institutions and supporting organizations uh, in the same field. And finally, there's some broader economic and social issues. The company can create shared value in those areas as well, but there often it's going to need to do it collaboratively. To create shared value, you've got to 
focus on those areas where your particular business most intersects with the most important uh, social challenges. I believe that businesses acting as businesses, not as charitable givers, are arguably the most powerful force for addressing many of the pressing issues of society. We've got to do things in running our core businesses that maximize the positive benefits for the community and for society. And guess what? Many of those things are going to advance the core agenda of the firm. <laughs>